Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be about this wig that was sent to me from my first wig. I'll have all of the direct links and the promo code information down below in the description box. Don't forget to check down below for more information. So the wig that I received is in the style LFW003. I did get it in the texture Yaki. The length is 14 inches. The hair color is a natural hair color. The cap size is cap size one. The cap construction is a six inch deep part lace front wig. The lace color is medium brown and it does have a fake scalp underneath as you can see. And one thing that I really like about their fake scalps is the fact that you can choose different colors or shades on their website. The wig does come with three combs, an adjustable strap in the back, and it does also include an elastic band for extra security. Okay, so here's how the wig looks straight out of the package once you try it on your head. I am really impressed with the fact that they are improving on their hairlines and the construction of their wigs. It looks super natural. As you can see, I'm parting it for you. You do get six inches of parting space, so you can do a lot of different hairstyles with this wig. However, this is not a full lace wig, so you can only do certain hairstyles with this particular wig, but I think the texture looks really, really natural. It's very full and thick. And I think that this is going to come out cute. So let's jump right into the tutorial. Although this wig does come pre-plucked, I am going to go ahead and thin out the hairline a little bit more. I will be doing my zigzag method. If you would like to know more information on my zigzag method, I do have a full tutorial posted. So please refer back to that video for more information. So yeah, this is how the hairline came out after I plucked a few more knots and I feel like it looks a little bit more natural this way. So I'm going to continue and do the zigzag method on the rest of the hairline and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so now that I plucked those extra knots from the hairline, I am noticing that when I look at the lace, I can clearly see that fake scalp underneath. I can see that that fake scalp does not start where the hairline is. And I don't know why it's starting so far back beyond the hairline, but the entire lace edge part of this wig is empty like you can notice a difference so i am going to try to blend it in with that fake scalp by darkening or tinting it to be the complexion of my scalp so i am going to do two different layers of this lace tint and hoping that you won't be able to notice it after i darken the lace a little bit So there is a line of demarcation where that fake scalp starts, but now that the lace edge is the color of my scalp, it will blend in a lot more seamlessly. All right, so now I'll be grabbing my Kenra Silkening Gloss and I will be applying this to the hair and then flat ironing it in sections. Okay, so looking at the hairline up close, I am noticing that the hairline on this wig is more square than my own natural hairline. I do have a widow's peak and I do have like some hair on the sides where my temples are that comes down. So I have way more curves in my hairline than this wig has. And if I leave it like that and I glue it on to my head like this or I, I gel it down to my head like this, my hairline will be coming through the sides. <laughs> so... 
I am going to have to try to add more dips and curves on this wig. I do have a full video on this method if you are interested in seeing a step-by-step -step tutorial. But if I do not cut my hairline out, I would just have to add some baby hairs there because my hair will be coming out. But we are gonna try our best to get this to look like my own natural hairline. So I am just going to take my razor blade and cut that shape out and we will be ready for the next step. All right, finally, now it's time to install this wig on my head. I'll be grabbing my Got To Be Free Spray and the Got To Be In The Black Tube. <laughs> Don't laugh at my hair, y'all. I will be doing two layers of the Got To Be In The Black Tube, and then in between each layer, I will be blow drying it. And after I have a tacky base, I will be adding that free spray on top and then blow drying it, and then we will be ready to lay the wig on top of it. Thank you so much for watching here is the finished look i'll have all of the information promo codes and direct links to this wig and the company down below in the description box so don't forget to check that box out for more information if you have not already subscribed make sure you guys take this time to do that down below and leave your comments in the comment section and i can't wait to see you all in my next video bye guys Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. Right. Right.